Hey guys, welcome to the Flat Top King. You guys might have noticed we got a new toy. You might have got a new toy too, right? The Blackstone. How to season your brand new Blackstone? Let's go. This thing is so brand new, we didn't even have time to take the stickers off, right? You guys have been asking and asking and asking, when are you gonna get one? Now's the time. So let's start the seasoning process. Listen, I cook on my flat tops at least four to six times a week, right? I would say that I have average knowledge, if not more. Before we even started the flat top grill process, we dealt with cast iron for years. You're gonna treat this just like you would cast iron. The oil that you decide to use is up to you. Do your own research. We've got plenty of videos out there that express our views of the oils to use. The biggest thing to know, you're not cooking. This is like a way above my pay grade process, right? So if you're thinking about using animal fats, I would just shy away from that. Try to use the oil first. There's a lot of information out there about that. I'm gonna show you my way and my way only. First things first, rub your hand across it. This thing is super grainy. There's probably a lot of dirt from transitioning and stuff like that. Also, since this is rolled steel, okay? Even when you get the dirt off of it, it's a little bit bumpy. I proved in one of my other videos on my Camp Chef that all I did was take a small piece of uh, fine sandpaper just to knock off the edges. That's the same thing we're gonna do to this right before we clean it. All we're trying to do, all we're trying to do is just knock off those high points. This is sandpaper 120. And I'm not bearing down super hard. You're not gonna hurt it or anything like that. You're just taking this to a very, very, very smooth surface before you even start seasoning. All right, now that it's done, I'm gonna have my wife feel it. She felt it before she could feel kind of what I was talking about. So I just kind of want to get her reaction to basically just give more credence, more credit to the idea, okay? Just put your hand on that, see how much smoother it is. I know you feel the dirt. You feel how much smoother oh, that is? Yeah, I do. To me, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot easier to start with a smoother surface than it is a rough surface, right? When you're seasoning, it's all about stacking layers, right? Many layers. And that's what we're going to do. All right. Many layers. M-A-N-Y and M-I-N-I. -I. Which way did you mean? Both. <laughs> many, many layers. That's right. <laughs> all right. We just got some soap and water down here. And all you're trying to do is clean the surface of your flat top off. Just use your standard dishwashing soap. We're not going to get into the myths about whether or not you should use soap or not. There's so many tutorials out there. We've even got our version. I'm in the boat of you can use soap whenever you want to, as long as you know how to reseason it. Soap is not going to hurt it if you've got a good seasoning. That's just a personal preference. I really don't see a reason why you would use soap because I think if you follow our guidelines of how to clean and how to reseason, then there's really not ever a reason to use soap. But in this instance right here, the only reason why we're using soap is to get the gunk off, right? The excess oil, the dirt, the debris, because once we start the seasoning process, we want it to be very clean to begin with, okay? So this is just soapy water, household detergent. I just got fresh water here. Just come back over it and just make sure it's clean as can be. You can rub your hand over it to see if you find any high spots. That's what I was doing when I was sanding down. It's just leveling out the unevenness. All right, now that you got your surface clean, brand spanking new, we're gonna turn our flat top on. It's on at the source. I think Blackstone recommends you can actually put it on high for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the temperature down just a little bit. I'm always so scared about putting my flat top on high because I've heard horror stories about warping. So let's start low to preheat it and then we're gonna build the temperature up from there, okay? While this is preheating, we're just gonna quickly go over the oil that we decided to use today. We have a cast iron video that says how to season your cast iron with avocado oil. I'm a huge avocado oil fan, especially when it comes to seasoning. Second on that list was Crisco. With the cost of avocado oil and everything else right now, 
is so dang expensive. Crisco is my number two. As cheap as this thing is, this was gonna get you all the way, okay? You guys stress about what oil you use. I'm just telling you, the dang Crisco out of your pantry will work just fine. All right, we're about 10 to 15 minutes in. I just turned the knobs up to high after preheating on low. And you guys can see that we're starting to get some color on the flat top. That's what we're looking for. Caution, caution, caution. I've done it before. I think other people have done it because I've seen the photos. When you're seasoning or using oil on a cast iron or rolled flat top, this stuff gets extremely hot. Next thing you know, you're down there with a spatula, the oil splatters up in a corner or something like that, and they get you on your thumb, your fingers, your knuckles, something. Please be careful when you're seasoning your first flat top, especially if you're new to the, the whole idea. Paper towels. I've got some extended tongs. I've learned my lesson. And all you're gonna do is just rub that oil in. Now listen, when you're doing this, you want small, I wouldn't say small, thin. Thin coats, okay? You want thin coats of oil, and you want it distributed evenly. You don't want any pulling, any excess oil where there shouldn't be. And lastly, you want it to get on the outside, or the inside, and the outside. It all matters, okay? So just take your rag. You see how much oil is coming off on it? That's what you want. Notice how the smoke's not rolling near as much. That's a good sign. Um, you can start noticing that the patch of brown, it goes from black to gold to the traditional color, is starting to get bigger and bigger. And that's, that's the process of the seasoning. So every time you add more oil, your surface is going to get wider and wider. So this is the second coat. All we're doing now is the same exact thing. Light, light, light coat of oil. If you've got too much, just turn your paper towel over and let it absorb some of that oil. You do not want caked up oil. That's how you get gummy flat top residue. And what happens is it'll actually start flaking off and it's a nightmare to deal with. If you do it right the first time, you'll be rewarded in the end. All right, as you can see, this is after the third seasoning. Our corners are still light. That's probably, I mean, my guess is that's probably normal. You guys can see that our band of brown and bronzing has expanded. Now the bronzing's all the way to the edges. Okay, that's probably normal. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna do it two more times and we're gonna show you the finished process after it's done two more times. All right, this is after the fifth coat. You guys can see how much more coloring we got on it. The flat top's extremely high, hot. You can see how much white it is right here in the middle. That's obviously the sweet spot. Anything else that expands left or right, up or down, you can see the color is naturally bronzing almost all the way edge to edge. That's a good sign. It will take a while for your edges uh, inside of the griddle to season as well. But just remember, every time you cook on it, you're going to take a good fat. We prefer avocado oil. So every time I'll cook on it from now on, I'll just take my paper towel and make sure I'm wiping around the edges when it preheats and stuff like that. One thing that we didn't mention earlier, and I'm sure somebody's gonna comment, just relax, just take a deep breath. I use paper towels. I've never found the lint to be a problem. A lot of people swear up and down that you have to use a lint-free paper towel, a shop rag, the blue paper towel, a t-shirt. I've seasoned my camp chef all the time. I seasoned all my cast iron. I seasoned a black stone at my brother-in-law's house. I seasoned a camp chef at my dad's house. I've never once worried about the paper towels I use and it's never once bothered me. I will say this, there are difference in paper towels. We get ours from Costco. I do feel like it's a better quality paper towel, but it's not lint free. It's just a paper towel. It's not that big of a deal. We've used Crisco and Costco paper towels and I'm confident in my seasoning. All right, after your flat tops cool down a little bit, I'm just adding the last coat of oil. This is the oil that's not gonna burn. This is just protecting the surface just like you would after every cook. If you notice that my paper towels are actually browned, this is just the process of going over that hot griddle. I don't really rotate my paper towels that much because your paper towels actually absorb all that excess oils and you actually end up using less oil because then you just take your oily rag, go over top of it, and it's done for you. So that's why you might see my paper towels browned, stuff like that.
Hey guys, there you go. A hey, super and easy way to make sure that your Blackstone is ready for your first cook. Season it the right way the first time and you won't have any problems. If you guys have a question and I was not clear enough for you guys or you're nervous or anything like that, just leave a comment below. I try to comment as fast as I can just about every single day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Welcome the new edition.